Hello wonderful creatives, this is Vipasha with a brand new video tutorial as a guest designer for Wild Orchid Crafts. This time I decided to implement the unbeatable combination of mixed media products and the ever gorgeous flower and die cut embellishments from Wild Orchid Crafts. As you can see, I will be using a 8x8 art canvas and have pencil sketched a heart on it. Now I would be applying the masking technique to create a beautiful art canvas. I am pulling several 1 inch strips of masking tape along the margin of the sketched heart as I wanted my heart to remain white when I black gessoed the entire canvas. There are many tutorials in the websites where masking tape canvas painting results in some fantastic artwork. But I thought of bringing a little variation in mind by using black gesso instead of acrylic paint. If you sketch a complex art form, then this can be a little tedious. Again, I am seeing this trend where you can choose the tedious ways to create fun art. So once the tip is set, the fun can begin when you start to paint. So I'm already taping my heart and I'm using the black heavy gesso. And I'm not being very careful about it and randomly using a painting brush and some water to paint my entire canvas black leaving the white area and the covered area of the heart. Once the gesso is semi dry, I am using my wow embossing powder in white and randomly spreading it onto my canvas to create a sprayed effect across the margin of the heart. Then I am using my heat tool to melt the powder cautiously. After that, I am going to gently peel the tape and the canvas is good to go for further designing and creativity. Well, for a change, I was not quite happy with the sweet effect created by the embossing powder and I wanted to create some more effect, dimensional effect along the borders of my heart. So I used the 3D gel medium and randomly painted it across the borders and then I spread my embossing powder over it. This embossing powder glued down perfectly and I used my painting brush to add more of the gel medium where I felt I should add some more powders to create the dimension effect of my canvas. my heat tool again to melt the embossing powder and it was all good to go and perfect for my next days of designing. So I'm just using some assorted color combination of the sprays from Color Bloom collection of Prima and I'm just spraying down randomly to cover the white area of the heart. I'll be using some pastel color blooms from Wild Orchid Craft so I took care that the background is not that loud but subtle and pastel friendly enough to complete the look. So 
So as I was almost done spraying the colors and covered the entire white area of the heart, the next stage was to match the embellishments that would go well with my project. And I'm just drawing down the entire base because I want my platform to be completely dry to lay down the embellishments using the gel medium. So as you can see, I have used the different assorted pastel colored flowers from the Wild Orchid craft and the beautiful die cut embellishments to create some uh, floral and garden look onto my canvas. I'll be listing down the details of all the products and the embellishments that I have used from the Wild Orchid craft so you can have a look in the description of my video. Also, if you like my video and want to stay tuned to all my future videos, please don't forget to subscribe and thank you today for stopping by. Bye-bye.